Chapter 8 Shew thyself to the priest Mark 1 verses 40 to 45 and Luke 5 verse 12. 1 When he was come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. 2 And, behold, there came a leper and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. 3 And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. For in Jesus saith unto him, See thou tell no man, but go thy way, shew thyself to the priest, and offer the gift that Moses commanded, for a testimony unto them. A leper, a person with leprosy was unclean. Shew thyself to the priest, Jesus sent this man to the priest because he was under the law. We wouldn't send someone to a priest today to offer the gift commanded under the law. We are not under the law today. No person can function as a priest in the coming kingdom if they were a leper, so Jesus healed all lepers. Leviticus 14 verses 1 to 7 KJV And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, This shall be the law of the leper in the day of his cleansing. He shall be brought unto the priest, and the priest shall go forth out of the camp, and the priest shall look, and, behold, if the plague of leprosy be healed in the leper, then shall the priest command to take for him that is to be cleansed two birds alive and clean, and cedar wood, and scarlet, and hyssop. And the priest shall command that one of the birds be killed in an earthen vessel over running water, as for the living bird, he shall take it, and the cedar wood, and the scarlet, and the hyssop, and shall dip them and the living bird in the blood of the bird that was killed over the running water, and he shall sprinkle upon him that is to be cleansed from the leprosy seven times, and shall pronounce him clean, and shall let the living bird loose into the open field. Leviticus 22 verse 4 KJV what man soever of the seed of Aaron is a leper, or hath a running issue, he shall not eat of the holy things, until he be clean. And whoso toucheth anything that is unclean by the dead, or a man whose seed goeth from him. The sick of the palsy. Luke 7 verses 1 to 10. 5 And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion, beseeching him, 6 And saying, Lord, my servant leaf at home sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. 7 And Jesus saith unto him, I will come and heal him. 8 The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. I am not worthy. This centurion knew that he was not worthy as a Gentile for a Jew to enter into his home, so he humbled himself acknowledging that. Jesus could help him because of his recognition of what God was doing at that time through Israel. 9 For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me, and I say to this man, Go, and he goeth, and to another, Come, and he cometh, and to my servant, Do this, and he doeth it. 10 When Jesus heard it, he marveled, and said to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. 11 And I say unto you, that many shall come from the east and west, and shall sit down with Abraham, and Isaac, and Jacob, in the kingdom of heaven. Many shall come from the east and the west, Gentiles with great faith would enter the kingdom, while many Israelites would be rejected. Matthew 15 verses 22 to 28 KJV And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coasts, and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David, my daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she creeth after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread, and to cast it to dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith be it unto thee even as thou wilt and her daughter was made whole from that very hour. The kingdom of heaven, the future kingdom promised to Israel, which is set up after the 70th week of Daniel. 
Daniel 2 verse 44, And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom, which shall never be destroyed. 12. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The children of the kingdom, the unbelieving in Israel. Luke 13 verses 23 to 30 KJV. Then said one unto him, Lord, are there few that be saved? And he said unto them, Strive to enter in at the straight gate, for many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in, and shall not be able. When once the master of the house is risen up, and hath shut to the door, and ye begin to stand without, and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us, and he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not whence ye are, then shall ye begin to say, We have eaten and drunk in thy presence, and thou hast taught in our streets. But he shall say, I tell you, I know you not whence ye are, depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, when ye shall see Abraham, and Isaac, and Jacob, and all the prophets, and the kingdom of God, and ye yourselves thrust out. And they shall come from the east, and from the west, and from the north, and from the south, and shall sit down in the kingdom of God. And behold, there are last which shall be first, and there are first which shall be last. Outer darkness, hell, everlasting punishment. Matthew 22 verse 13 KJV Then said the king to the servants, Bind him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him into outer darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Matthew 25 verses 30 and 46 KJV And cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. 13 And Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way, and as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And his servant was healed at the selfsame hour. As thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. Jesus healed this Gentile centurion's servant because he had great faith. The Gentile servant was a Jew, who Jesus would have never met because he was unable to go to Jesus to be healed because of his dire condition. This Gentile had blessed one of Jesus' brethren, and for that he would be blessed with the answer to his prayer. Genesis 12 verses 1 to 3 KJV now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will shew thee, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing, and I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. You cannot believe that your dying servant will be healed today because of your faith, and it will come to pass. Jesus heals Peter's mother-in-law Mark 1 verses 29 to 31 and Luke 4 verses 38 to 39. 14 And when Jesus was come into Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother laid and sick of a fever. 15 And he touched her hand, and the fever left her, and she arose and ministered unto them. His wife's mother, Peter had a wife, and her mother was healed by Jesus of her fever. Isaiah 53 verse 5 KJV But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. 16 When the even was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits with his word, and healed all that were sick. 17 That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, Himself took our infirmities, and bare our sicknesses. Isaiah 53 verse 5 18 Now when Jesus saw great multitudes about him, he gave commandment to depart unto the other side. 19 And a certain scribe came, and said unto him, Master, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. 20 And Jesus saith unto him, The foxes have holes, and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. Master, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. To follow Christ was to leave everything behind as the kingdom was at hand. 21 And another of his disciples said unto him, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. 22 But Jesus said unto him, Follow me, and let the dead bury their dead. Let the dead bury their dead, 
These comments were made by Jesus while Israel's kingdom was at hand. He required his disciples to sell everything they had and to come and follow him. Matthew 19 verses 16 to 23 KJV And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do, that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is, God, but if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. He saith unto him, Which? Jesus said, Thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The young man saith unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth up, what lack I yet? Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, Verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. Jesus calms the sea. Mark 4 verses 35 to 41. 23 And when he was entered into a ship, his disciples followed him. 24 And, behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea, insomuch that the ship was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. 25 And his disciples came to him, and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. 26 And he saith unto them, Why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. 27 But the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? Jesus could rebuke the winds and the sea because he was the Creator. Isaiah 65 verse 7 KJV Your iniquities, and the iniquities of your fathers together, saith the Lord, which have burned incense upon the mountains, and blasphemed me upon the hills, therefore will I measure their former work into their bosom. Jesus cast devils out of two men Mark 5 verses 1 to 20 and Luke 26 to 39. 28 And when he was come to the other side into the country of the Jerjesines, there met him two possessed with devils, coming out of the tombs, exceeding fierce, so that no man might pass by that way. 29 And, behold, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of God? Art thou come hither to torment us before the time? The time, the time for the devil's torment will be when he is cast into the lake of fire forever. Revelation 14 verse 11 KJV And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Revelation 20 verse 10 KJV And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night for ever and ever. 30 And there was a good way off from them and heard of many swine feeding. 31 So the devils besought him, saying, If thou cast us out, suffer us to go away into the herd of swine. 32 And he said unto them, Go. And when they were come out, they went into the herd of swine, and behold, the whole herd of swine ran violently down a steep place into the sea and perished in the waters. 33 And they that kept them fled, and went their ways into the city, and told everything, and what was befallen to the possessed of the devils. 34 And, behold, the whole city came out to meet Jesus, and when they saw him, they besought him that he would depart out of their coasts. Jesus demonstrated to his followers that in the kingdom he would have power to bind Satan and his devils. Satan will be bound in the bottomless pit for a thousand years. Revelation 20 verses 2 to 3 KJV And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled, and after that he must be loosed a little season. Chapter 9 Jesus heals a man of palsy. Mark 2 verses 1 to 12 and Luke 5 verses 17 to 26.
One and he entered into a ship and passed over and came into his own city. Two and behold, they brought to him a man sick of the palsy lying on a bed. And Jesus seeing their faith said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, be of good cheer, thy sins be forgiven thee. Three and behold, certain of the scribes said within themselves, This man blasphemeth. For in Jesus knowing their thoughts said, Wherefore think ye evil in your hearts? Five for whether is easier, to say, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise, and walk. Six but that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins, then saith he to the sick of the palsy, Arise, take up thy bed, and go unto thine house. Seven and he arose and departed to his house. Eight, but when the multitude saw it, they marveled and glorified God, which had given such power unto men. Thy sins be forgiven thee, all disease comes from the fall in the garden. We are all born as sinners, and we will all die one day. Jesus could heal any infirmity in their flesh because of who he was. Romans 6 verse 23 KJV For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. He was also the only one who could forgive sins, because it was through him we all have the forgiveness of sins. The Son of Man, this is a messianic title depicting Jesus' deity and his humanity together in one. Daniel 7 verse 13 I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven, and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. Jesus calls Matthew Mark 2 verses 13 to 14 and Luke 5 verses 27 to 32. 9 And as Jesus passed forth from thence, he saw a man, named Matthew, sitting at the receipt of custom, and he saith unto him, Follow me. And he arose and followed him. Matthew, the writer of the Gospel of Matthew. He was a tax collector, a publican. 10 And it came to pass, as Jesus sat at meat in the house, behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. 11 And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto his disciples, Why eateth your master with publicans and sinners? 12 But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, They that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. 13 But go ye and learn what that meaneth, I will have mercy, and not sacrifice, for I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Hosea 6 verse 6 KJV for I desired mercy, and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. I will have mercy, and not sacrifice. The Pharisees were more interested in ritual sacrifices than they were in showing mercy to others. The publicans and sinners wanted to learn from God. Jesus questioned about fasting. Mark 2 verses 18 to 22 and Luke 5 verses 33 to 39. 14 Then came to him the disciples of John, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast oft, but thy disciples fast not? 15 And Jesus said unto them, Can the children of the bridechamber mourn, as long as the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come, when the bridegroom shall be taken from them, and then shall they fast. The children of the bridechamber, they are Jesus' disciples, who make up the little flock in Luke 12 verse 32. The bride chamber is in the house of the bride's father. Luke 12 verse 32 Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. The bridegroom is Jesus who came to get a bride from Israel. He would come back for her to take her to the marriage after a long absence where he would prepare a place for her. John 14 verses 2 to 3 KJV In my father's house are many mansions, if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. The place is New Jerusalem. Revelation 21 verses 9 to 10. John the Baptist was the friend of the bridegroom. He was not a part of the bride chamber. He was an Old Testament saint. Revelation 21 verses 9 to 10 KJV And there came unto me one of the seven angels which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues, and talked with me, saying, 
Come hither, I will shew thee the bride, the lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, and shewed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God. John 3 verse 29 He that hath the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom, which standeth and heareth him, rejoiceth greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This my joy therefore is fulfilled. 30 He must increase, but I must decrease. Jesus is the bridegroom here, and he possessed the bride at that time according to John 3 verses 29 to 30. Who did Jesus have as followers at that time? Believing Israel the remnant or little flock of believers. Luke 12 verse 32 KJV. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. 16 No man putteth a piece of new cloth unto an old garment, for that which is put in to fill it up taketh from the garment, and the rent is made worse. 17 Neither do men put new wine into old bottles, else the bottles break, and the wine runneth out, and the bottles perish, but they put new wine into new bottles, and both are preserved. New cloth unto an old garment, John and the Pharisees were operating in the old way, as if the bridegroom weren't with them. Jesus' disciples, the bride, were acting correctly, in a new way, because the bridegroom was with them. Jesus and the number 12 Mark 5 verses 21 to 43 and Luke 8 verses 41 to 56. 18 While he spake these things unto them, behold, there came a certain ruler, and worshipped him, saying, My daughter is even now dead, but come and lay thy hand upon her, and she shall live. 19 And Jesus arose, and followed him, and so did his disciples. 20 And, behold, a woman, which was diseased with an issue of blood twelve years, came behind him, and touched the hem of his garment. 21 For she said within herself, If I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. 22 But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort, thy faith hath made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. 23 And when Jesus came into the ruler's house and saw the minstrels and the people making a noise, 24 He said unto them, Give place, for the maid is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn. 25 But when the people were put forth, he went in and took her by the hand, and the maid arose. 26 And the fame hereof went abroad into all that land. A certain ruler, Jarius was the ruler of the synagogue, and he had only one daughter who was twelve years old. Luke 7 verse 28 KJV For I say unto you, among those that are born of women there is not a greater prophet than John the Baptist, but he that is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. Jesus heals a woman who had an issue of blood for twelve years. She was unclean all that time and had spent all her living upon physicians, and she couldn't be healed. Both women represent Israel, spiritually sick and unable to heal themselves, spiritually dead and in need of resurrection. Jesus heals two blind men. 27 And when Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. 28 And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus saith unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this? They said unto him, Yeah, Lord. 29 Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith be it unto you. 30 And their eyes were opened, and Jesus straightly charged them, saying, See that no man know it. 31 But they, when they were departed, spread abroad his fame in all that country. The son of David, Jesus' title verifying that he was the rightful descendant to sit on David's throne as Israel's king. According to your faith be it unto you, Jesus healed the blind in Israel to allow them to become priests in the kingdom that was at hand. Exodus 19 verses 5 to 6 KJV Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests, and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. 32 As they went out, behold, they brought to him a dumb man possessed with a devil. 
33, and when the devil was cast out, the dumb spake, and the multitudes marveled, saying, It was never so seen in Israel. 34, but the Pharisees said, He casteth out devils through the prince of the devils. He casteth out devils through the prince of the devils. This was blaspheming the Holy Ghost, because Jesus cast out devils by the power of the Holy Spirit. Saul of Tarsus was also a Pharisee, and he would later be guilty of blasphemy as well. 1 Timothy 1 verse 13 KJV Who was before a blasphemer, and a persecutor, and injurious, but I obtained mercy, because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. 35 And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Matthew 3 verse 2 KJV And saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Matthew 4 verse 23 KJV And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. Healing every sickness and every disease, healing always followed the preaching of the gospel of the kingdom, because it was prophesied that Israel would become a kingdom of priests. Exodus 19 verses 5 to 6 KJV Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests, and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Priests could not have any blemishes in their body. Leviticus 21 verses 17 to 21 KJV Speak unto Aaron, saying, Whosoever he be of thy seed in their generations that hath any blemish, let him not approach to offer the bread of his God. For whatsoever man he be that hath a blemish, he shall not approach, a blind man, or a lame, or he that hath a flat nose, or anything superfluous, or a man that is broken-footed, or broken-handed, or crook-backed, or a dwarf, or that hath a blemish in his eye, or be scurvy, or scabbed, or hath his stones broken. No man that hath a blemish of the seed of Aaron the priest shall come nigh to offer the offerings of the Lord made by fire. He hath a blemish. He shall not come nigh to offer the bread of his God. 36. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them, because they fainted, and were scattered abroad, as sheep having no shepherd. 37 Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. 38 Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. The harvest, Israel had numerous feasts which had prophetical significance to them. They were pictures of things to come in Israel's future where many people would be saved to enter into their kingdom. Exodus 23 verse 16 And the feast of harvest, the first fruits of thy labors, which thou hast sown in the field, and the feast of ingathering, which is in the end of the year, when thou hast gathered in thy labors out of the field. Chapter 10 Jesus calls his twelve apostles. Mark 6 verses 7 to 13 and Luke 6 verses 12 to 16. 1 And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits, to cast them out, and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Unclean spirits, they are devils. Jesus gave his twelve disciples power to cast out unclean spirits, and to heal Israelites so that they may become priests in the kingdom, which was at hand. Exodus 19 verses 5 to 6 KJV now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests, and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Two now the names of the twelve apostles are these, the first, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew his brother, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, 3 Philip, and Bartholomew, Thomas, and Matthew the publican, James the son of Alphaeus, and Labias, whose surname was Thaddeus, for Simon the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him. 5 These twelve Jesus sent forth, and commanded them, saying, 
Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not. Go not into the way of the Gentiles. The way of the Gentiles, the cities of the Gentiles. Jesus forbade his disciples from going to the Gentiles and the Samaritans because it was not time for them to hear while Israel's kingdom was at hand. John 1 verse 11 He came unto his own, and his own received him not. The children of Israel needed to eat first before the Gentiles could be reached. Matthew 15 verses 22 to 28 KJV And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coasts, and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David, my daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she creeth after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread, and to cast it to dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, be it unto thee even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. 6. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Point 7. And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. 8. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils, freely ye have received, freely give. The lost sheep of the house of Israel, the unbelieving Jews. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, the one thousand year kingdom on the earth, prophesied by the prophets, where Christ would rule with a rod of iron. Heal the sick. This was a part of Israel's kingdom message so that all of believing Israel could become priests in their kingdom. Power was also given to the twelve disciples to cleanse lepers and to raise the dead. In the kingdom no Jew would be a leper or have a devil, and all believing Jews would be raised from the dead to enjoy eternal life in their kingdom. 9. Provide neither gold, nor silver, nor brass in your purses, 10. Nor script for your journey, neither two coats, neither shoes, nor yet staves, for the workman is worthy of his meat. Provide neither gold, nor silver, nor brass in your purses, they were not to take any money with them to finance their work. Those they helped were to take care of them. This is not how we are to do God's work. Today. 11. And into whatsoever city or town ye shall enter, inquire who in it is worthy, and there abide till ye go thence. 12. And when ye come into an house, salute it. 13. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. Worthy someone who has believed the gospel of the kingdom. 14. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when ye depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. 15. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Shake off the dust of your feet. This was a sign that their blood was on their own hands. It was a testimony against them. Mark 6 verse 11 KJV And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear you, when ye depart thence, shake off the dust under your feet for a testimony against them. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Luke 9 verse 5 KJV And whosoever will not receive you, when ye go out of that city, shake off the very dust from your feet for a testimony against them. Those that rejected them with all the signs and wonders they performed in front of their eyes would be held accountable at the judgment. Isaiah 10 verse 3 KJV And what will ye do in the day of visitation, and in the desolation which shall come from far? To whom will ye flee for help? And where will ye leave your glory? Luke 19 verse 42 KJV, saying, If thou hadst known, even thou, at least in this thy day, the things which belong unto thy peace, but now they are hid from thine eyes. 16 Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves, be ye therefore wise as serpents, and harmless as doves.
17. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. 18. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. 19. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. 20. For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. 21. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. 23. But when they persecute you in this city, flee ye into another. For verily I say unto you, ye shall not have gone over the cities of Israel, till the Son of Man be come. He that endureth to the end, we do not have to endure unto the end to be saved in this present dispensation. The end refers to the end of the tribulation period. Those who endure to the end of the tribulation period without taking the mark of the beast will be saved and go into their kingdom. Ye shall not have gone over the cities of Israel, till the Son of Man be come. This commission is re-established right after the cross in John 20 verse 21 when his disciples had forsaken him and fled. John 20 verse 21 KJV Then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you, as my Father hath sent me, even so send I you. Jesus is speaking about the time just before he returns to earth to set up his kingdom as the kingdom offer is postponed when Israel as a whole rejects her king and kingdom. Revelation 2 verse 10 Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. 24 The disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. 25 It is enough for the disciple that he be as his master, and the servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of his household? The master of the house, Jesus is the master of the house of Israel, believing Israel. 26 Fear them not therefore, for there is nothing covered, that shall not be revealed, and hid, that shall not be known. 27 What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light, and what ye hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the house stops. 28 And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Destroy both soul and body in hell, man can kill the body, but it ends there. Jesus can destroy both the body that they possessed while they were alive and soul in hell. This is the second death. Revelation 2 verse 11 KJV He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Revelation 20 verses 6 and 14 KJV Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection, on such the second death hath no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Revelation 21 verse 8 KJV But the fearful, and unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars, shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. 29 Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing? And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. 30 But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. 31 Fear ye not therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. 32 Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. 33 But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. 34 Think not that I am come to send peace on earth, I came not to send peace, but a sword. 35 For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. 36 And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. 37 He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. 
38, and he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. 39, he that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that losseth his life for my sake shall find it. 40, he that receiveth you receiveth me, and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. 41, he that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward, and he that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. 42, and whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciple, verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. These instructions were for believing Israel when the gospel of the kingdom was being preached 2,000 years ago to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Matthew 4 verses 17 to 23 KJV From that time Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And Jesus, walking by the sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he saith unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. And going on from thence, he saw other two brethren, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, in a ship with Zebedee their father, mending their nets, and he called them. And they immediately left the ship and their father and followed him. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. It will be preached again during the tribulation period. Today we preach the gospel of the grace of God. Matthew 24 verse 14 KJV And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Acts 20 verse 24 KJV, But none of these things move me, neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy, and the ministry, which I have received of the Lord Jesus, to testify the gospel of the grace of God. Chapter 11 John's disciples ask Jesus a question. Luke 7 verses 18 to 35 one and it came to pass, when Jesus had made an end of commanding his twelve disciples, he departed thence to teach and to preach in their cities. Two now when John had heard in the prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples, three and said unto him, Art thou he that should come, or do we look for another? For Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and shew John again those things which ye do hear and see. Five the blind receive their sight, and the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. Six and blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. Isaiah 52 verses 7 to 15 KJV How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publisheth salvation, that saith unto Zion, thy God reigneth. Thy watchmen shall lift up the voice, with the voice together shall they sing for they shall see eye to eye, when the Lord shall bring again Zion. Break forth into joy, sing together, ye waste places of Jerusalem, for the Lord hath comforted his people, he hath redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord hath made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. Depart ye, depart ye, go ye out from thence, Touch no unclean thing, go ye out of the midst of her, be ye clean, that bear the vessels of the Lord. For ye shall not go out with haste, nor go by flight, for the Lord will go before you, and the God of Israel will be your rearward. Behold, my servant shall deal prudently, he shall be exalted and extolled, and be very high. As many were astonished at thee, his visage was so marred more than any man, and his form more than the sons of men, so shall he sprinkle many nations, the kings shall shut their mouths at him, for that which had not been told them shall they see, and that which they had not heard shall they consider. Isaiah 53 verses 1 to 12 KJV, Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground, he hath no form nor comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. 
He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, and we hid as it were our faces from him, he was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living, for the transgression of my people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked, and with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him, he hath put him to grief, when thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied, by his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he hath poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. Jesus told John's disciples that he was fulfilling the prophecies of Isaiah given to Israel's fathers, which answered all of John's question. 7. And as they departed, Jesus began to say unto the multitudes concerning John, what went ye out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with the wind. 8. But what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in king's houses. 9. But what went ye out for to see? A prophet? Yeah, I say unto you, and more than a prophet. 10. For this is he, of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. Malachi 3 verse 1 KJV Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me, and the Lord, whom ye seek, shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in, behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. 11 Verily I say unto you, Among them that are born of women there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist, notwithstanding he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. 12 And from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. 13 For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. 14 And if ye will receive it, this is Elias, which was for to come. 15 He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. The Baptist, John is the only person to be called a Baptist in the Bible. He ministered to the lost sheep of the house of Israel for a little over six months before his death. Among them born of woman there has not risen a greater than John the Baptist. John was the greatest born of women in the Old Testament. From the days of John, the Baptist until now, Israel went from being under the law to the kingdom being at hand during John days. Those saved under the kingdom message had a greater hope than John did because he had just died. He now would have to wait for resurrection into the kingdom, while believers who were still alive could just enter into the kingdom alive. The kingdom of heaven, the future kingdom promised to Israel, which is set up after the 70th week of Daniel ends. Daniel 2 verse 44 And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom, which shall never be destroyed. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John, the preaching of the kingdom being at hand started with John the Baptist. Luke 16 verse 16 KJV The law and the prophets were until John, since that time the kingdom of God is preached, and every man presseth into it. Luke 1 verse 17 And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias, to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. 
16. But whereunto shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets, and calling unto their fellows, 17. And saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented. 18. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, He hath a devil. 19. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold a man gluttonous, and a wine-bibber, a friend of publicans and sinners. But wisdom is justified of her children. Jesus upbraids cities. Luke 12 verses 13 to 15. 25 At that time Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. 26 Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. 27 All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son, but the Father, neither knoweth any man the Father, save the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. 28 Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. 29 Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. 30 For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Isaiah 55 verse 3 KJV Incline your ear, and come unto me, hear, and your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. God only hid things from the wise and prudent after they had originally heard the gospel of the kingdom and rejected it along with the baptism of John. Jesus would reveal deeper things to those who would believe his message because they could understand deeper things once they were saved. The rest that Jesus called Israel to was the rest long prophesied in the law and the prophets which was the kingdom. Psalm 95 verse 11 KJV Unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my wrath.